Hi friends. Today I want to read an, a short piece from uh, one of my favorite books, which is The Art of Learning by Josh Waitzkin. And uh, this was recommended to me by a friend and it has become one of my favorite books of all time. <laughs> it's really a very powerful, very powerful story and a, a lot of powerful lessons inside the book um, all around learning. And, and Josh Waitzkin was a world champion in Tai Chi Chuan Pushant martial arts and um, an international master in chess. And he was a national champion in the US many times. Um, and he pursued those two completely different disciplines to such a high level and then realized that what he was really good at was learning and that he now teaches learning and, and coaches people on how to learn effectively in lots of different disciplines and he wrote this incredible book and I want to just read a, a short part section of the book um, about uh, how we think about learning which is really important when we start to try and get better at it so this is from Josh Waitzen's book, The Art of Learning, um, An Inner Journey to Optimal Performance. Studies have shown that in just minutes, kids can be conditioned into having a healthy learning theory for a given situation. In one study, children were given different instructions about what the aim of their task was. Some kids were told that solving certain problems would help them with their schoolwork in the future and other kids were told that they would be judged based on their results. In other words, half the kids received helpless, helplessness producing instructions, while the other half received mastery oriented instructions. Needless to say, the kids who were temporarily master oriented did much better on the tests. So how does this affect us in our day-to-day -day lives? Fundamentally, the key to pursuing excellence is to embrace an organic, long-term learning process and not to live in the shell of static, safe mediocrity. Usually, growth comes at the expense of previous comfort or safety. The hermit crab is a colorful example of a creature that lives by this aspect of the growth process albeit without our psychological baggage. As the crab gets bigger, it needs to find a more spacious shell. So this slow, lumbering creature goes on a quest for a new home. If an appropriate new shell is not found quickly, a terribly delicate moment of truth arises. A soft creature that is used to the protection of built-in armor must now go out into the world exposed to predators in all its mushy vulnerability. The learning phase in between shells is where our growth can spring from. Someone stuck with an entity theory of intelligence is like an anorexic hermit, hermit crab, starving itself so it doesn't grow to have to find a new shell. In my experience, successful people shoot for the stars, put their hearts on the line in every battle, and ultimately discover that the lessons learned from the pursuit of excellence mean much more than the immediate trophies and glory. In the long run, painful losses may prove much more vulnerable than wins. Those who are armed with a healthy attitude and are able to draw wisdom from every experience good or bad, are the ones who make it down the road. They are also the ones who are happier along the way. Of course, the real challenge is to stay in range of this long-term perspective when you're under fire and hurting in the middle of the war. This may be our biggest hurdle, is at the core of the art of learning. So that's just a short, about a page from this uh, incredible book, The Art of Learning by Josh Waitzkin. Um, I, I, I could recommend it to almost anybody. I think um, if you're interested in living a more fulfilling life, um, it's definitely a, a cool book to read. And um, 
in any case, it's just a very interesting story. So that's it today. I will see you tomorrow.